The best 8 new films and TV shows to watch on Netflix this week take a look at the best of this week's Netflix. We might be looking at an extended lockdown, but fortunately Netflix is still there for us with some truly brilliant new TV shows and films being released over the next week. From brand new crime documentaries to hilarious rom-coms starring Sam Claflin, The Dream, here are our top picks of new content being released on Netflix over the next week. Love Wedding Repeat, Friday the 10th of April This new rom-com with a twist sees Sam Claflin play Jack, who will do whatever it takes to make sure his little sister, Eleanor Tomlinson, has the perfect wedding day. In a Groundhog Day-like scenario, the wedding takes place over and over again, with alternate versions going very wrong each time. This sounds like the escape we need from lockdown monotony and honestly, we can't wait. Tiger Tail, Friday the 10th of April in this drama, Pin Zui is a free-spirited yet poor factory worker, who decides to leave his home behind to find better opportunities in America. Switching to present day, years of monotonous work and an arranged marriage have left an older Pin Zui a shadow of his former self, and so he must reconnect with his past in order to finally build the life he once dreamed of having. The main event, Friday the 10th of April this film follows 11-year-old Leo Thompson, who, after discovering a magical wrestling mask that gives him super strength, enters a WWE competition. With the support of his grandmother, Leo will do whatever it takes to achieve his dream of becoming a WWE legend, but can he do it even with his amazing mask? The Innocence Files, Wednesday the 15th of April we think this new documentary will be a huge hit. Looking at eight cases of wrongful conviction, the nine-part series examines just how these innocent people were convicted in three parts, the evidence, the witness and the prosecution. It shines a light on America's deeply flawed criminal justice system, how lives are destroyed in the process, and how organizations such as the Innocence Project work tirelessly to overturn the prison sentences. Rising High, Friday the 17th of April The synopsis for this fascinating real-life story reads, Rising High tells the story of the rise and fall of two real estate fraudsters. Victor Stein, Jerry Falkland and the banker Nicole Kleber get incredibly rich within a short period of time. But soon they are sucked deeper and deeper into a maelstrom of lies, fraud and deceit, until at some point they completely lose sight of reality and have to decide what is really important to them. Sergio, Friday the 17th of April inspired by a true story, this film follows Sergio Vieira de Mello, who has spent the majority of his storied career as a top UN diplomat working in the world's most unstable regions. But just as he readies himself for a simpler life with the woman he loves, Sergio takes one last assignment, in Baghdad, newly plunged into chaos following the US invasion. The assignment is meant to be brief, until a bomb blast causes the walls of the UN headquarters to come literally crashing down upon him, setting into motion a gripping life or death struggle. Too hot to handle, Friday the 17th of April needs something new to watch now that Love is Blind is done and dusted. This show follows 10 singletons who come together on a tropical island in the hopes of finding love. The only problem is, they will have to give us any sort of physical relationship if they want to win the huge grand prize. Every time they kiss, hold hands or, do anything else, their prize money will go down. With this in mind, will the serial singletons be able to form deeper emotional connections? Or will the temptation simply be too hot to handle? Earth and Blood, Friday the 17th of April The synopsis for Earth and Blood reads, Sed owns a sawmill deep in the woods, which he decides to sell in order to ensure a better future for his 18-year-old daughter Sarah. Little does he know that one of his apprentices was cornered by his brother and forced to hide a large amount of cocaine inside the factory. When the gang to whom the drug belongs shows up, Sed quickly realizes how determined these tough guys are. Albeit outnumbered, he knows his factory like no one else. Forced to strike back to protect Sarah, Sed transforms the sawmill into an embattled camp. And as the number of casualties grows, so does the thirst for revenge.